that's what microphones do. Apparently. Um, you, I have seen a couple of your onset vlogs from the Boondock Saints sequel, and they were hilarious, and it was really cool of you to do that. I was wondering, um, what's it like on that set with those guys, and when is that coming out? And then also, I want to say that your Supernatural episode, Faith, is one of my all-time favorites. Do you have any cool stories from the set of that as well? Supernatural was a, a really fun job to go up and work on. Um, Jensen and Jared are just really great guys, um, and they don't mind being viewed as eye candy. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> um, what's really funny though is at the end of um, at the end of the episode, uh, there was a kiss that I had with Jensen, and it's the first time I ever did a kiss that got edited out. Oh. Oh. I know. <laughs> so, um, and as far as Boondock Saints, uh, the sequel's coming out October 30th yeah. in theaters. So go buy your tickets now. Uh, they just released the trailer online. Uh, it was an amazing experience. Um, I play this woman named Eunice, and Eunice is a Southern FBI agent who. I like to say she's the woman that every man wants to fuck and every woman wants to be. <laughs> so, uh, she's a total badass. She's smarter than everyone else. She's sexier than everyone else. She's not a love interest. She's not a victim. Uh, <laughs> it's the first for me. <laughs> uh, she, uh, you know, she's a weapons expert. She's. It just was extremely fun, and she wears six-inch Christian Louboutin shoes to crime scenes. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. <laughs> so I had heard a rumor that a lot of Dr. Horrible came about because of a conversation during the um, on the picket line during the writer's strike. Is that accurate? And can you tell us a little more about that? No, I don't want to claim too much credit. That's terrible. No. <laughs> That's a great story. Well, it is a good story. No, because I don't... Mm. Uh, li listen, part of it, part of, part of some of the inspiration that Joss has said, that some of the inspiration was me, like, annoyingly emailing everyone several times a week. Have you seen my show? You know, really annoying. I mean, I admit it, but whatever. Um, so I, I emailed a lot about my show, and it was, like, probably in the fourth or fifth episode at that point. And, and the writer's strike was happening, and um, and Joss had a mutant enemy picket day. So I went because I'm always like against the man, and uh, <laughs> and we were walking in a circle, and it was really fun actually because there were so many people. You know, it was kind of like social hour, but we were protesting for a good cause. Uh, <laughs> and he was like, "Yeah, I've been thinking of doing my own internet thing." Because I asked him, of course, "Did you see my show?" And he was like, "Yes." And I was very surprised. <laughs> I took the time to watch my show, which is cool. And he said, "Yeah, I think of doing doing this little thing in my backyard. You know, about a super villain who who sings." And I'm like. That sounds cool. <laughs> Do that. So, um, and then it was like four months later, I didn't hear anything, and the strike was over, and he was like, do you want to sing? He just emailed me out of the blue, J. So, dash J. It was very subtle. It was a lowercase J, too. You know? <laughs> um, and that's how that came about. So, you know, I think the, one of the reasons, one of the distribution things uh, for him to self-release, because he was getting offers all over town, I'm sure, to release Dr. Horrible, because he had such an amazing cast, and it was such a cool, and when people saw it, they were like, oh my god, I want it. Uh, but, but I think part of the resolution, hopefully, I, I would like to say, um, to, to do it completely on his own and, and through his own avenues was uh, because I was doing it and just kind of like, oh, and there's one person behind a computer getting my show out there. And he, of course, just took web video to a whole new level um, that nobody has actually equaled until now. I think it's sad. I wish other people would jump on the bandwagon and make other stuff outside normal uh, release channels. But um, yeah, so a little bit. Just a portion of the pie. <laughs> <laughs> Good credit, so thanks.